Folks, pretty big time rain in parts of the Upper Valley earlier this evening. That stuff has moved north and offshore. Now we're watching more rain off to the south and southwest of the valley. Some pretty good thunderstorms. You can see them west of Rio Grande City showing up right here in the picture. They're moving off to the north and then that whole area, uh, at least the tops of the clouds, kind of being pushed a little closer to the valley. Uh, we're going to watch this stuff tonight. It's one of those nights when stuff can fire up at just about any time. Well, I don't think it'll rain all night by any means. There could be a shower, even a thunder shower sneaking by before the night is over with. You see the stuff getting a little closer as we speak, but the storms themselves are going almost straight northward, so they should bypass the western part of the valley. You can see the lightning from Star County. The storms are only 24 miles away, and then the stuff from McAllen about 30 miles away. Some of this what we call the Sears blow off the tops of the clouds being pushed this direction, but also uh, some moisture out there. So again, the potential for a shower, thunder shower in a few spots overnight. Best chances in the west during the daytime tomorrow. The system that's triggering the rain is still in the neighborhood. So scattered showers and a thunderstorm likely again tomorrow. And while like today, not everybody gets rained on. There'll be a few places that pick up some pretty decent stuff and the same thing on Sunday. The system is not gone yet, so the chance for a shower thunderstorm lingers into Sunday as well. I think by Monday, the moisture finally starts to go away. The disturbance finally starts to go away. And while yes, there'll be some showers on Monday, we're holding at 40% after 50 over the weekend. By Tuesday, Wednesday, that chance really drops off and almost goes to gone by the end of next week. Temperature wise, we slowly warm up, but it's slow. 87 tomorrow, 88 Sunday and 90 on Monday. The normal is 90, so we should be back to the seasonal norm by the end of the weekend. The rest of Texas, one thing stands out when you look at this map. Look at Dalhart, 44 degrees. There's a front sitting up there right now, obviously a front that is not going to make it to the valley. It goes east, not south and stalls way north. But look down here, green stuff again. The front itself kind of lifts to the north of us, the old front. There's an upper disturbance though, sitting right in here, and that disturbance is what's helping to trigger the rain. A fancy name for it is the shear axis. But the bottom line is it's still sitting here tomorrow, still sitting here Sunday, so the chance of rain continues. By Monday, that axis starts to move out, so the rain becomes a little more sparse, not as much of it. And by probably Tuesday, you're looking at only isolated showers at most. Traveling in Texas tomorrow. Take a look. San Antonio in the morning, 73 with thunderstorms. Houston, 73. Dallas, 69. Showers and thunderstorms possible across a lot of the state tomorrow. Still, everybody warms up into the upper 70s, the low 80s. We get into the mid to upper 80s. Kirk, all this left, just the remnants of Kirk down here. And there's Leslie up in the Atlantic. Watch what happens. The remnants of Kirk already gone. Nothing left there. And this just kind of goes all over the place. So no concerns about the tropics tonight. At the coast, here's what's going on. You can see the winds out of the east 10 to 15. There are three tides. The sea is about two to four feet. The bay temperature 81. There'll be spotty showers or a thunderstorm at the coast. So tonight a stray shower, low 74. Then tomorrow, spotty thunderstorms. Not everybody gets rained on, but those who do could pick up a quick half an inch to an inch of rain. And we look at Sunday, about the same story. Monday a little less active, and then next week things almost dry out. Still about a 10 to 20 percent chance Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, but just a small chance. That's about it. That's your updated first one five forecast.